on one photo raw 2024 is an incredibly powerful and full featured photo editor it's one that i love having i love using and i always get great results with my photos and i think there are five key reasons why you're going to want to have it too now, if you don't have it yet there's a link down below where you can either buy it or download a free trial to check it out and I think that's going to be well worth your time if you haven't tried it already. Now, if you aren't familiar with On One, you've got a lot of options. You can get it as a subscription service or you can purchase it outright. You can use it to actively manage and catalog your images or you can use it as a file browser. If you take a look at it, you can tell immediately that there's a lot of power and control here because there are a lot of tools. But I don't want that to overwhelm you because they've also added new stuff that makes it quicker and easier than ever before to get powerful results. If you take a look on this left hand side, you can see you've got the ability to merge to layers or HDR or Pano or focus stacking or time lapse. You've got all of that capability built in. You've got an incredibly powerful and robust print module. And over here on the right hand side, you've also got keyword AI that will allow you to automatically apply keywords to your images. And all those features are fantastic. And that's not even the five that I'm going to talk about in this video. So I've got a photo here and I want to walk through what I consider five key reasons that are gonna make you want to have this product. Now, the first one is Brilliance AI. And with one click, I've got a pretty beautiful looking photo. You can see the before and the after, and that is one click. I didn't do anything else, and that's what Brilliance AI does. It gives you incredible results with one click. Now, you can fine tune it, and that's what's nice about it. It's not just click and it does everything for you, and then you forget about it and don't have any control. You actually have all the control that you need. If you click and expand this, you can increase or decrease the amount of Brilliance AI that's being uh, added across your photo. You can control the tones and colors as well. But here's one of the really cool, in fact, probably the coolest part about this tool is it automatically creates different uh, local adjustments based on different regions of the photos. I've got flora, mountain, natural ground, all these different capabilities and sections that have been automatically masked and created as local adjustments, which conveniently show up over here on the local adjustment tab as well. And as you can see with the black and the white, those are the different masks that are being applied and created automatically because of the capability and intelligence behind Brilliance AI. Incredibly powerful tool. I love it. I've been using it a lot and I've got a few videos about it if you want to check them out in that playlist. I'll link to there. Now, that's feature number one, Brilliance AI. Feature number two is actually kind of a, a bigger overall kind of encompassing section, and that is develop altogether. There's a lot of sections to develop, including Brilliance AI, but the next one to talk about is tone and color. We've well, got camera profiles, you've got all these different adjustment sliders, and these will give you amazing control over your overall image edit you'll note that they are already adjusted and that's because they are impacted based on what moves and adjustments you've made in Brilliance AI. So they work together to allow you to really fine tune your raw file and get it looking as perfect as possible. In addition to tone and color, you've got noise and sharpening. So this is world-class noise reduction and de-blurring. You've got lens correction. You've even got transform if you need to fix some of the angles and the verticals in your images. But that's why develop is, for me, feature number two because it's so full-featured and there's so much you can do. And again, you can come in and really customize your image before you really get into some of the more specific targeted areas. And that's what we're going to talk about in section number three. So yes, section three is local adjustments. And we've already talked about this briefly, but local adjustments will automatically get created based on what you uh, can do in Brilliance AI. The cool thing is that now that I've already got these masks made, I can go into any one of these and apply further refinements to just that section. So maybe I go into this mountain section and maybe that opacity is a little too low overall, so I can adjust that. Maybe I want to increase a little bit of contrast, maybe pull back a little bit on the shadows. And you can see that's going to have an impact on the image overall. The point is you've got this fine level of detailed control over your image based on masks that were automatically created in the Brilliance AI section of develop. And that's why in some of my previous videos I've said start with Brilliance AI and then go into the tone and color section and develop and kind of fine tune it and then go into local adjustments. That's really my workflow because I'm able to come in here and do some refinements and target my adjustments so that I have ultimate and perfect control over my image and the outcome that I get from it. 
So that's why local adjustments is reason number three. So reason number four for me is the effects menu. And if you haven't used this before, you'll know that if you click on add filter, you've got a lengthy list here of features and filters that you can use to apply either in a masked way or across your entire image. I'll start out by just adding dynamic contrast, which will give it a little bit of crispiness and some edge contrast to really make it look kind of nice. Now that's applied automatically, but you can see that that comes in and gives me a little bit of extra detail or that appearance of detail in the photo. So before and after, that's a nice little adjustment. Now that's dynamic contrast. Another thing you could do possibly is come in and you could make this a black and white if you wanted to. And here's one of the features that I love so much about the way they do filters. And that is you've got an opacity section and a style section. And so that gives you the ability to come in and you can audition the different styles, which are kind of like presets, right? These are uh, adjustment presets based on that particular filter. So I can come in and maybe I like high key or maybe I like infrared. I actually do like infrared. That looks pretty amazing. And so I can select infrared and if it's a little too much, I can pull back slightly on the opacity and that bleeds back in a little bit of that color. Or I could just come in here to tone and make some adjustments to the contrast, the highlights, all that sort of stuff. The point is you've got a massive amount of control over what you can do with these filters because there's a lot of them, they've got a lot of capability, and if I just expand this list again, you can see you've got all these different options available to you. So that's why the effects section for me is reason number four. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the black and white, but I'm gonna come back and I wanna talk about one more feature, and this is feature number five, or reason number five, why I think you really wanna have this product, and that is masking. Masking is powerful and crazy and amazing. And you already saw in Develop how Brilliance AI will automatically create a local adjustment, which is including a mask for all the different sections it identifies. In addition to that, you've got a lot of powerful other masking options. Let me show you. You go into Add Filter, and you'll notice over here, some of this looks familiar because it's the same technology that was running the local adjustments that was on Brilliance AI. But this is what's called Super Select AI. So it could come in, and you could say something like, I'm going to get Flora and natural ground and mountain, and I'm gonna cover a whole lot of that foreground. And what I wanna do is maybe apply HDR look. Well, you can go ahead and pre-mask, identify those sections, click those little radio buttons to grab them, and then choose your filter, in this case, HDR look, and it will only apply to that area. It'll create the mask for you, and then boom, I've got HDR look applied just to that area, which is basically not the sky. It's essentially everything else. So you've got that applied, and if you wanted to go look at the mask, you can click on the masking menu, and you can see the mask. Remember, I got everything except sky and water. That was a little pond down there, but if I wanted to, I could add that in if I needed to, but I like it the way it is. The point is, you've got a lot of control based on all the different kind of masks. Speaking of masks, another powerful masking option in on one is luminosity mask. And if you're in this masking property inspector window, if you just hover over that little light bulb that says create luminosity mask, I'm not gonna do that because I already used super select AI to mask in all the, uh, the natural ground in the mountains, but you can easily create luminosity masks, which are masks based on light values, give you a lot of control over your image edit. And so lots of different powerful masking options. By the way, you may notice uh, in this upper left-hand menu, there's other options here, including the different kind of masks that you can use. Masking brush, gradient mask, radial mask, things like that. So lots of power and lots of masking control, which is really how you get a professional and finished image edit by controlling what you do in the different parts of the photo. Some of this can be done automatically with the Super Select AI technology and the local adjustments with Brilliance AI. And then some of it you can do yourself on the effects menu. And so that's why I think this is such a powerful editor. You've got Brilliance AI, you've got tons of control and develop, you've got local adjustments that can automatically be created with masks. You've got a whole bunch of powerful effects and you've got amazing masking tools. You put all five of those things together and you can have a huge impact on your photo in really not that much time. And so if you look at the before and the after, you can see it's really changed pretty significantly. And all I did was kind of click a few buttons. So that's why I like On One so much. You can allow it to do some of the driving for you if you want to, but you can also take control if you like to kind of work the dials and do things yourself. You can balance that, do some of both, or take complete control. It's up to you. The point is the power's in your hands and there's so much power and control with On One. I think it's a very capable photo editor. That's why I continue to use it and make videos about it because I love it so much. Those are the five reasons why I think you're gonna love it as well. 
Hope that helps. Like I said, check it out at the link down below. Feel free to download a trial and put it through its paces. Give it a test drive. Check it out. Let me know what you think. I'll be back soon with more videos. Thanks for watching, my friends. I'll see you soon. And until next time, adios.